Hey what's up, it's me, Aaron. I'm making a quick video doing a check-in and it's gonna be really short, but basically um, I try to come out to my partner as detransitioning or retiring the Camilla name and going by Aaron and um, I told my partner I want to order a binder and try using it and see how I feel when I look in the mirror after I put my clothes on. And one of the issues that happened with me is going on puberty inhibitors, my voice never properly dropped. So like, I would benefit from going on tea because my voice cannot get very deep naturally. So it's one of the reasons that um, led me to transition is because everyone thought I was always so fem effeminate looking naturally. And then I went and did hormones for 10 years and had cosmetic work. So it's like, I know that it's easy going to be easier for me to present uh, like with my girl clothes on and I'm like not going to cut my hair, um, but just presenting female, but maybe start binding and slowly ease my way into it so that it's not like too traumatizing and I'm not rushing through it. I realize that um, I'm very like feminine in nature. And I definitely prefer wearing like gender neutral clothing or dresses. Um, so anyway, that's just a quick update with me. And the one benefit if I went on testosterone would ever have like a deeper, more male voice. And the other benefit would be that I would be able to have um, sexual function down there. The other downside is just that I will never like get to masculinize if I can but I don't know if I want to because it's just easier to stay on my hormones and identify as trans because I acknowledge and admit that I'm a man so it's like you know I'm not have nothing to hide about that it's what I'm very upfront and very straightforward and I'm more understanding than most trans people that's why I identify as a man because I know I can't change my sex that's delusional so, and I am intersex, and it's like, but I'm not going to justify my transition just because of a condition. Um, but I do think that my transition was more fueled by the fact that I was intersex and grew up with the persistent malaria and duck syndrome. So it's like one of those things where um, I think that I always was looking very naturally feminine, and my body produced more estrogen than most males. Um, so anyway, I'm just so used to staying female for everything, so it's just like, um, I'm just using this on social media, on Reddit, and on, um, in my relationship. So I'm just going to ease my way into it, basically, and just keep me, I'll keep everyone updated. So I hope everyone is doing well, and I'm going to let you go. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and please comment, and I will answer questions. Thank you for all your comments on my detransition video. I have not gotten back to responding to very many of them, but I really appreciate it and I will respond. Take care. Bye.